What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about the 10 free things you can do in Brisbane, Australia. Now this is based on my experience because I used to live in Brisbane. I had an exchange there for two years, so pretty much sure I know what to cover. And because I was a student, I really love anything that goes free. So free things. Who doesn't love free things? I was a student and I love anything that goes free. Amazingly, Brisbane has a couple of things to offer for free activities that you can do. Let's go with the first one. The first thing is go to Mount Kuda Lookout Point. It is much better if you go during sunrise instead of sunset because you can see the sun rising from this point. As for sunsets, it happens to me like two or three times and I cannot see the sun setting from the point. Also, they have buses to get there. So you can get there with public transport with the bus. But the time schedule is very limited, so you better watch out for the bus time schedule. It is amazing to enjoy Brisbane on top of Mount Kuda. It happened to me once that it felt like I was above the clouds because there was just clouds covering the city and it was just awesome. My eyes are twitching. Why is it twitching? It's so weird. Is that the eyelashes? Anyways, to the next one. Second one, you can go enjoy the Gallery of Modern Art or the Queensland Art Modern of Gallery Art. Did I say it right? Q A. Q-A-G-O-M-A Queensland Art Gallery of Modern Art Oh, what did I say? Queensland Art Modern of Gallery Art Anyways, I just call it GOMA G-O-M-A So Gallery of Modern Art, it's free And you can actually enjoy a lot of great exhibitions in there So yeah, the GOMA sometimes also held some major exhibitions And they are often ticketed But it's also cheap, like not too much so yeah, go check out Goma. It's very cool if you love art. Thirdly, you can jump on a city hopper. So what is a city hopper? A city hopper is basically a ferry and it's like a little boat where you can actually jump on and then you can ride it for free alongside the river in the city of Brisbane. So Brisbane has a river in the city and there are two sides of Brisbane from the north and the south if I'm not mistaken. I live in the south and if I want to go to the city, I have to go to the north. And to get to there, I can also use the ferry as well. You gotta watch out between these two things. So there is a city cat and the second one is a city hopper. The city cat, you have to pay for it because it goes faster and they have so many stops. But the city hopper is free. And you can even enjoy the view because it's double deck. Although you need to keep in mind that the city hopper does have a limited time schedule. So it doesn't always run every time. And you can see the scenic views of the south and the north side of Brisbane. Now the fourth one is enjoy a farmer's market. So there are local markets in Brisbane as well, a couple of the suburbs. But the one that I visited is called Davies Park Market. And this is located at West End. West End is very close to South Bank and you can easily get there by a bus or even by the city cat. The farmer's market is family friendly. You can bring your dogs as well. They have a lawn where you can bring your dogs for a play. It's very cool to enjoy your time in the farmer's market. You can have food, you can buy your groceries there which is produced fresh as well. And they even sell a lot of other things like clothing or antiques. And besides that, they also have food trucks. I love food trucks. Next up, the fifth one is South Bank. In this South Bank, there is a special thing that you can do. You can enjoy a beach in the city. What a beach? Yes, a beach. So there is an open beach in the city of Brisbane and it is located in South Bank. So this beach is man-made and exactly they have sand. Yes, they have sand. You can sunbathe there and there are even kiddie pools as well. And also in South Bank, there are many things that you can actually enjoy. There are playgrounds for kids, there are barbecues, so you can do a lot of barbies there. South Bank is very family friendly and a lot of things are happening in South Bank. Sometimes they help markets as well in South Bank and also they have playgrounds there. There's also great restaurants there, there is a cinema. And also the Queensland Museum is actually there. So Goma is also close by to South Bank. Isn't that fun? It's very close by. So yes, go to the South Bank beach guys. It's very recommended and it's like the highlight of Brisbane. One of it. The sixth is you can walk around Roma Street 
Park Land. In this location, you will see a lot of flowers blooming around, enjoying a walk, and you will definitely can chill there as well. It's pretty cool. It's also cool to take pictures there for aesthetic reasons, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now next is the seventh point. You can go to have a barbecue at Kangaroo Point Clive. Cliff? Clive? Why did I say Clive? You can have a barbecue at Kangaroo Point or even walk around Kangaroo Point Cliff. Kangaroo Point is also cool. Sometimes there I see people wall climbing but I'm not sure if you have to pay with it for free but you can go check it out to Kangaroo Point because you can have barbecues and the great thing is in Australia you can have barbecues at the park usually some parks they have a couple of barbecues that's already installed by the government so you can use any barbecues that's free over there and just use with care you just need to bring your sausages, your breads and also the sauces, your beers enjoy it with your friends and families alright my next activities for free is go for a river walk so along the river of south bank they have this concrete where you can actually walk from south bank all the way to the city and they actually do have a bridge as well to get there it is very cool to walk alongside the river on that time i was walking with my friends and we were just enjoying the view enjoying the weather the breeze everything that was happening there you can see the skin is from different angles and i believe also that the river itself is just calming i whenever i see water it's just calming for me oh there's a fact i'd like to share the locals said that the river in brisbane there are sharks in there don't be surprised in Australia that you won't be meeting a lot of animals because you will. But don't worry, the animals in Australia won't actually hurt you. They'll just annoy you. Even if they're cute, they can be annoying as well. Okay, now to my next activities is go for a climb on a mountain. I really love hiking and climbing mountains is also fun. And I would like to give that a try when I was living in Brisbane. Unfortunately, there are no mountains in the city of Brisbane, but you can find a lot of hikings and climb the mountains outside of Brisbane, which is not far as well. Probably around 30 kilometers away from the city itself. And the one that I went is called the Glass House Mountain. It's located in the Sunshine Coast region. And it's actually really cool. I get a great 360 degrees views of the Glass House Mountain. So Glass House Mountain National Park is one of my recommended places that you should try. Do hiking and climbing. Those are free as well. And lastly, the last free activities that you can do in Brisbane is go visit the Eat Street at North Shore. Now, when I say free, it's not completely free, but there is an entrance fee for just three dollars when i came there it was three dollars but when there's a change of price i'm not sure guys but you should definitely visit eat streets because it's amazing they have many kinds of cuisines and they have a lot of performing as well there are performers there are food and there are lots of shops that you can visit that sells a lot of stuff like clothing or antiques or home decorations you should check it out it's also pet friendly and you can visit there with your dog so it's great bear in mind that east street is only available during the weekends and on friday and saturday is only available during the night time while on sunday they are open during from the morning till midday the price stays the same three dollars is the entrance fee i may be wrong the price may be rising but it was three dollars when i came there and it's worth it to spend three dollars for that Trust me, each street is not going to let you down and I promise you, you're gonna love it and you're gonna eat a lot of things that have European foods, Asian food, American, South American, Mid Eastern as well. There are many various of foods to offer in Eat Streets. Alright guys, those are my tips of activities that you can do for free in Brisbane and I hope you will like it. Don't forget to comment down below of your experience when you're living in Australia or traveling in Australia and the things or free things that you can do as well. Just comment down below and don't forget to give this video a like if you like my video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications for my next video. Alright guys, that'll be all. See you next time. Da da!